Hello, 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 and welcome to another segment of New Music Monday. I am your girl, Miss B. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. You already know what to do. Go ahead and hit that share button because tonight, just like any other night, we got some fire for you. The whole premise of this platform is to give you, give you and the artist a chance to meet each other. It is a chance to for you all to get to know, get up close and personal with the artist and its Self, the entity, the, the 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 talent, the skill, the ability, and the whole nine yards. This platform here gives those artists a chance to showcase their their gift, showcase their skill, showcase their talent in ways that they probably would not have ever been given the opportunity to do. Okay, and so what I do is I take this ability, this platform, this this place here and I make it a stage, a virtual stage for them to be able to show what it is that they have and what it is that they got to offer. So right now in the mainstream, we have um, so many different artists, the same artists over and over. No diss against them, no shade against them. But I don't know about you all, I'm looking for something fresh. I need some fresh water, some fresh new air, some fresh whatever, fresh talent, fresh ability, fresh skill, fresh sound, fresh lyrics, fresh music, period, point blank, okay? And so a lot of these underground people, a lot of these up and coming artists, they can, they have the ability and the opportunity, the, the skill and the wherewithal to go ahead and, and put some of these artists that's out in the mainstream under the table. So that is the place that we're trying to get them to. We're trying to get them to a place where they can be heard and respected for the talent that they are. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to go ahead and share. I'm going to do the same. And when we all do that, we can get the more people in here, we can get an audience in here, and we can go ahead and feature our artists. Today's artist is going to, is none other than Khan Gotti. Khan Gotti is here in Atlanta. I ran up in, uh, into him um, at a location at a in an establishment that I frequent quite often, and um, I'm, a, I'm an here. avid member actually of this uh, of this this gathering place. And so um, I saw him, and I saw his energy, and I saw his. I, I got a chance to listen to a lot of his music, and when I tell you the boys bad he's bad not only is he bad but he got a team behind him that is bad too they all just bad together oh my god listen it's okay it's new music monday i'm getting this i'm getting my share out you know what i'm saying y'all get y'all share out too man when i tell you this artist here is amazing he's amazing he got a sound he got a freshness and all of these things you all need to hear, okay? So I'm gonna give it a couple of more minutes before I actually bring him on. And uh, just to give you all a chance to kind of showcase, help me showcase this person, help me showcase this artist, help me showcase this talent. I'm telling you, because all we need is for one person to hear. All we need is for one person to hear. And that one person can tell the right person. And that right person can make it happen for this artist. You know what I mean? That's what we need. We need people that's going to help make it happen. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everybody, y'all come on in and y'all hit share. Make sure you share, okay? Make sure you share. We, we Listen, we got people out here that need to be seen, that need to be heard. And we're going to do our part in doing so, okay? Go ahead and hit share. We have one hour. And so we're going to bring you, again, up close and personal with the artist, Khan Gotti today, okay? So I'm like, again, I got more, I got a whole lot of pages I'm trying to share too. So we're going to get this going in one second. I just wanted to make sure that we set the stage for this, this artist before we even bring them on because we got to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? We got to do it right for the person. We got to do it right for them. All right. Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Jay. Everybody come on in. All right, this is my last little hit right here. Hold on, boom and boom. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, so now um, I'm going to intro him. Like I said, he is a young man here, you know what I'm saying, with the talent and the skill and the ability that I believe will set the stage ablaze, okay? And so for, for, for without further ado, without further ado, okay, we introduce to you the one and only Mr. Khan Gotti, what's going on, sir? Hey, what's up, Miss B? What's popping, baby? Nothing much, man. Listen, you popping. That's what's happening. Yeah, 
Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So listen, this is what we want to do. We want to, again, I'm setting the audience for you and getting them prepared and ready to hear what it is that you got to offer. I'm talking you up. I'm talking about how fire you are, how fire your team is, and all of those things and whatever the case. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just have them to get to know you as the artist, you as the entity. Tell us who you are. Who, who is Kangati? Okay, Kangati, all right. This is me. I grew up in the I grew up in the music industry. My father, he's a producer, a great my my grandfather. He's um he's a he's a music artist as well. He does country music. Nice. Like great off art. Wrote a lot of country hits. He's actually on like you know Tennessee Hall of Fame out there. Okay. And um, and basically, I was born in Atlanta, and I grew up in Vegas. So I have a I have a unique a unique twist of of uh, a variety. To my music. Absolutely. You get, that, you, get that, you get that Southern grammar, but you also get that West Coast pop and fly. That's what's know? up. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So now let me ask you this. Okay. Born and raised in the A. Okay. Tell us what is the infusion that you got from being born here, right? And then the infusion yeah. that you got from, from, from being raised in, in Vegas. So tell us what is the difference and how it impacted your sound? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So. There's just like all the greats out here from like an outcast. Like, and, I, and that's actually one of my mentors, Big Boy. Nice. And I talked to Big Boy from outcast. Okay. I spent a lot of time with him when I came out here. Um, yeah, growing up and just being country, just like I love I love being a country boy at heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My whole family, my whole family on my mom's side out here. Like, I got to really experience that Southern hospitality. Right, right, right. And that's how I deliver my music. And then when I twist it up on the West Coast, like my father, he's from South Central LA. You know okay, what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, a completely different environment out there. That's where I really got, like, on my street aspect. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was young, I was, uh, when I was an adolescent, I was gang-banging, and, mm. you know, I, I, I've grown a lot. Right. Yeah. All of that is influenced to my music. Yeah. So, like, yeah. from the Tupac and, like, Spice Ones, Be Legit, Mac Dre, you know what I'm saying? Everybody up there on the West Coast. I really have more, like, I feel like it's an influence as far as, like, Maybe the way my accent is. Yeah. Like the type of beats I pick is mixed with that sound. Very good. Very, very good. And now you mentioned Big Boy as being one of your influences, one of your one of your 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 idols that you look up to. Who else has inspired your sound? I know you got a mixture. You got a you got a whole variety there. So you got the South and the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? And there are some there are some heavy hitters and some some superstars. Like I'm talking about people who have impacted the music industry as a whole, and it will never change because of them. You know oh, what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. First off, Tupac. Yeah, of course. Tupac. Oh, my God. Rest in peace. Biggie, of course. Yeah. And then, like, well, when I was younger, just getting into the entertainment, now my biggest idol ever was Michael Jackson. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Michael Jackson, just his energy, his, the way he put on a show. You know his dedication towards it. Just, yeah. just he, he still he he let the music live through him. That's, and that's, that's how, it. That's how I let the, that's how I, that's how I do my music and how, and how I want to reach the world. Yeah, the world like that. That's awesome. more more modern now. Mm -hmm. Jay Z. Yes, Jay -Z. sir. Ho. Jay Z. Yes, sir. Yeah, but just on the whole business level. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like that's why that's why I have my own label. Like I'm I'm just using it as a branch. Of course. Uh, for, for branding my label, but you know I'm gonna get in the jewelry. Like I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying. I wanna have my own shoe line. Yeah. Alcohol, you know what I mean? Like yeah. they really paving the way and showing young black people how we can own everything. 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 You hear me? And that's how I want to impact the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. So now in that, in that, so uh, somebody said Michael Jackson is my favorite too. They they listening. Listen. They hey, like hey, yes sir. Hey, hey. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, R.I.P. Yes, sir. I mean, all, all all of the greats. All of the greats. You know what I'm saying? Thank you all for tuning in. We thank you for checking in. Thank you so much for all your compliments and all of that. We appreciate you. Listen, we are introing you to, we're giving you, we're introducing you, the world, to Khan Gotti, for the, the artist, the man, the myth, the legend, all of that, okay? So you all go ahead and when you tune, when you come on in, y'all already know what they can do. Go ahead and share so we can get him out there. Him and his team need to be out there so they can be hitting these stage and blessing these people ears all over the place okay so now when it comes down to um you as the ceo because you mentioned you mentioned your label okay yeah 
Tell us about your label. That is BBIG, correct? Okay. Well, BBIG. Mm hmm BBIG it stands for Billionaire Brand Investment Group. Okay. Okay. And that was my father's label, and I'm signed to that label. Yes. And so is everybody else that you've seen, like part of my team. Okay. But my dad's doing something different. Basically, we created a platform for independent artists where we can be owners too, so we all have shares of the label. Come on here. That's what I'm talking about, creating wealth for the generation if you build an empire. Absolutely. Now, Mobstar's music group, that, that's my personal label. Okay. And and that came from, okay, so back back when I was, uh, when I first really started getting heavy into music when I was about 14. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this since I was six, but when I really got into it, I started pursuing it as, like, I knew this was what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. um, I just took all the influences around me. Like, um, like of course, like I said, like we were like gang banging or whatever. I'm yeah. from the mob. That's just a part of who I am. Yeah. Um, but it, um, the name came about because we were like the stars of the hood. Anywhere mm -hmm. we were at, anywhere we went around Vegas, you can go to Vegas right now. Yeah. Like they started calling us the mob stars. Oh wow. Yeah. So we wanted to uh, definitely show people that there's another way to get out the street. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And we found our way through music. That's but right. Music comes into the play. And then that's we're all awesome. Like we all feed off of each other, we all vibe off of each other. As so it should be. About. As it we should be. We don't have any specific genre. Yep. Yep. As it should we be. We all come together and we vibe. And that's what's that's up. That's our music group. That's what's up. That as it should be. If you that's that's a message right there. Let me tell you something because I know I was on social media last night and I do you know I'm a night owl. I literally nap. I don't sleep. I nap because I feel like you know what I mean. There's always something to be done. There's always an opportunity that that's out there for you. And if you know I sleep, I say I sleep when I'm dead. You understand what I'm saying? But right now. Absolutely. I got stuff to do. You always say that. You know what I'm saying? So now, but but last night I was on social media and I felt, you know, I was just I was just in a vibe. You know what I'm saying? As far as the team and the, the people that you surround yourself with, right? And how yeah. it matters so much to have that circle, that tight knit circle around you because your close your close knit circle is going to be whether you think so or not. It's going to be a direct influence on what you pursue, what you take on, how you, what you succeed in, what you accomplish, how peaceful your mind is, all this and the third. Your team is a direct influence on that, okay? So now tell me, when it came down to your team, when it came down to your team, how is it as their, as their leader, because you are the leader, correct? Well, I feel like we all play our own certain role. Sure. We all we all see eye to eye. Okay. We got kings and queens around our round table. Mm -hmm. That's how we treat each other. So okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a leader. We all we all stand alone. Okay. We're all powerful together. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sounds good. And that's it. And that's that's awesome. That is awesome. The way that you just explained it. Because now in in that, how did it come about? How did you all come together as a team? What was the what was the dynamic that that drew you all together? Oh man. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Off, off the muscles of the number one thing, which is obvious, is music. music. But it's going to be a wild story because I've, I've acquired this team through, throughout throughout time in my life, like over 10 years, 15 years. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, on on the record that you're going to play, Call to Play, uh -huh. my best friend in the world, that's my song, okay. uh, Lil Baghat, mm -hmm. and we grew up in Vegas together. He's from Detroit, I'm mm -hmm. from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We were both from another place, you know what I'm saying? Yes, and, Midwest. And we, we've been brothers ever since. Yes. Yes, okay, yes. And, he, and I actually I fell in love with his music because I heard him freestyle. He's one of the best freestyles I've ever heard in my really? life. Really? Really? You know? And I, because I was always in the studio, because my father, so he had a studio in our house, uh -huh. I saw it as a way for me to extend my blessing. Mm. You know what I mean? Because this kid had this dope, raw talent, and I believe in him so much, like even as a, even, even as a peer. Yes. You know? And I'm a little bit older than him. You know what I'm saying? I wow. believe in him so much. I just wanted to share my blessing, so I brought him to the studio, and then we've been making music ever since. That's awesome. We're the first two original mob stars. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so further on down the line, I moved back out to Atlanta in 2009. Okay. The whole family, we actually had a huge compound downtown right there on, on Peter Street. Okay. It's called the Swag House. That's where, where I made like my biggest network out here when I first came out here. Nice. Like anybody who was anybody came to the Swag House. Wow. And um, that's where I met. Uh, that's where I met my big brother Cheeto. Mm -hmm. That's who you saw in the in the video that we shot in Vegas. Okay. Okay, that's my big brother, and he's actually he's he's his name is Mouth God. He's okay. He's been doing music since he was seventeen. He has a huge following. Just got off score with Ritz. 
He's the one that started the whole North Atlanta movement. Nice. Or Migos and all of that. He was actually on Bando. Oh. So yeah, you are so, surrounded. You had no choice. This was fate for your life. Oh, yeah, absolutely. God God has a, path, a plan for me. And, absolutely. And as long as I'm on my path, on my journey, yeah. like he keeps me going and he puts these people in my life for a reason. They, they've been around for a reason. You know, yeah. And I really believe that. Yeah. Um, so through him, that's where I met Red Nose. That's actually Shawty Red's brother. Okay. Wrote, yeah. Um, Shawty Red on the track. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, platinum producer. Yeah, that's his brother. But he's also a platinum writer. He um he wrote Snoop Dogg's biggest hit, Sexual Seduction. Is that right? Yeah, literally. Yeah, he wrote it, it, Snoop Dogg changed two words, literally. See, and that that's my jam too, y'all. That's the whole vibe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a great song. <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Snoop too. Yes, sir. Uh, so that's where Red Nose comes into play. Okay. And then actually, okay. So now next on the list is going to be Darian. Okay. The guy. Mm hmm. The guy. Juice mm -hmm. Man. All right. Okay. He was actually uh, my little brother's best friend. He went to high school with my little brother. Mm hmm Okay. And he was, like, heavily in the gospel at that time. And, like, yeah. he was going to church a lot. Yeah. And I guess he, he needed to do a project where he had to sing for something. Uh -huh. And he could use my dad's studio. Mm hmm And here goes God again. I saw the raw talent. I felt like I really fucked with his vibe. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know um, my bad. But, um, no, we vibed. And then he actually left. He left. He just came back two years ago from, okay. from Arizona. Okay. But he grew into this into this beautiful, like powerful, dynamic artist that he is now. That's awesome. So That's as awesome. long as he's been down with Sam, it was already an end for him. Yeah. All right. Now this last piece of the puzzle is actually my favorite piece of the puzzle. <laughs> Do tell. Uh, Do tell. Years, yeah. About two, three years ago, I met the love of my life. Okay. And before she, before it was that, like we just had a, we just had a certain connection. We actually met at CC. Okay. 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 And um and uh she had she had her music history that we talked about before and yes. my brother showed her some of my music before. Okay. It was funny. She wasn't even really messing with the vibe. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wasn't messing with the vibe. Right? But I felt um I don't know, there was a certain attraction to her and it was deeper than like a physical attraction. Yeah. I felt like there was something in my spirit telling me that I needed to do something for this person or mm -hmm. I needed to be in this person's life. Mm -hmm. So once we connected on music when she came to my studio it, it, it made sense. Right. She moved up here from West Palm Beach on her own. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so her music thing. And of course, when anybody comes to Atlanta, you always get that run around. You know you it. You know what I'm saying? You know it. Messing with the right people, the wrong people. You know yep. what I mean? Yeah. And again, I just I extend her my blessing. I extend her my blessing. So I told her, come in, listen. Don't worry about any studio time. Right. Like, I got you. I believe in you as an artist. Wow. I would love for you to be down with your team. And she's been down ever since. And she's been and down ever since. And she's right here watching you, too. So go ahead and yeah, shout her yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She does pop. <laughs> like, that's her background. She does pop, which is huge. Yes. Which is a plus for the team. Pop is the biggest money. I might not have to rap no more. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> And that's yeah, the thing, no, and she's gorgeous. So that's how we all came together. Yeah, and she's gorgeous too. If I must say so myself, she make you look good. I'm just saying. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> thank you all for tuning in. Go ahead and tune in. Everybody who just entered the building, come on in and go ahead and hit share. We are talking to the none other than Khan Gotti right here on New Music Monday. So since you brought up, catch a play, call a play, okay? Since you brought it up, I want you to go ahead and intro, kind of lay it out for us so that I can okay. go ahead and hit that play on Call to Play. Okay, absolutely. All right, y'all, this is your Kai Gotti. We're going to premiere this uh, Call to Play video for y'all. I actually won Battlegrounds three times last year with this record. Never gave the radio my, well, never sent the radio my music at all. So go ahead and check out what all the buzz is about. This is Call to Play by My Star Music. Call to Play by My Star Music. <laughs>
Okay, so now we got some people. They were talking. That's hot, loving it. And you had a bunch of hearts going up. You know what I'm saying? So they feeling yeah. it. Y'all just caught y'all catching plays or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, you know we, we stay on the grind. Everything to play. <laughs> everything. Play. Hey, that's the goal. Say that part. And hey, listen, hey, they talk about some. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. A whole vibe. They said a whole vibe. It was a whole vibe. So now, oh, thank you, baby. yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. So let me tell, let me, let me. Okay, tell us more about Kangadi, the, 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 the homie lover friend. Tell us more about who he is. You know what I mean? Because you know you got Shali. You know what I mean? That's your boo yeah. and things. So talk to us about about that. How do you? How is it in in you all's dynamic? I know you said it was it was it was an organic vibe, an energy, you know, a magnetic yeah. pull that got you all connected. You know what I'm saying? Which is a whole thing, y'all. If it ain't listen, let me tell you something about Miss B. If it ain't that right there, I don't want it. You feel me? If it ain't energy connection, if it ain't magnetic pull, if it ain't a vibe, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? So it, something that transcends anything physical. So now you said that, and that right there was straight Bible. You understand me? So Absolutely. tell me, tell me, um, compared to what you knew relationships and love to be versus now, and tell me how it is working with the love of your life. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he laughs, y'all. He laughs. He laughs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, I'm, I'm I'm 30 now. I met I met child when I was 26. Okay. So I was actually coming out of a um. I, I've got two kids prior to her. Okay. I was almost, I was actually almost married before, but nice. um, it, it didn't work out. Like God was showing me signs in my life. Yeah. Like, that's not what. That's that, that's not the way my life was supposed to go. Mm. I wasn't. I wasn't supported. I feel like. Enough, so you know what I'm saying, to to live my dream and sure. still take care of my family and sure. do what I had to do. Sure. So 
had to make a tough decision in my life, and it ended up being the best decision in my life. Mm. Wow. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, when me and Chai started, um, when we started doing music together, like, just our chemistry together, just the way we work together, where we balance each other, like, I met the yin and my yang. Oh, come on, you better you know? talk. You talking. Yeah. <laughs> I met the yin and my yang. Um, yeah. She definitely, she definitely helped me grow so much as an artist. Mm. Even, even though I've been doing it since I was six, I grew so much. Like, she brought a whole other aspect an aspect for me to like to learn from and, and gain from yeah. you know and I feel like I, I was doing the same for her yeah she helped me excel by giving me that woman's point of view because mm. there is you know, a woman's point of view it was, everybody. It was very real yes it was real yes you know what I'm saying it, 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 there's no yes man or no yes woman over here that's know? right that's right that's and right so I just uh, from that point on like just the even amount of attention we've been getting and all the music we've made since it's been it's been the best music I've made my whole life. Wow. Um, yeah. So like I said, on the yin and yang, it's like you said, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. We mm. all we all bounce off each other's frequencies and force. Right. right. And um, yeah, no, I'm at the yin and my yang. And when it comes to working together and working with the love of your life, yeah. Um, just like anything else, I'm not gonna feel crack like it's perfect because it never is. But that's sure. what makes it worth it. Sure. Oh man, that's listen. Say that again. Say that again. It's not, it's not perfect like what people might think a picture to be, but that's what makes it worth it. If Come it was on. all just peachy keen all the time, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? When would you ever get to tweak them? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? So you speak it's like, the souls it, it, out it's here. The moments, it's the moments, like, no matter what we're going through or no matter how hard the times are, like, when we do go shoot a video or we do a show or, like, we're putting our band together together getting ready to go on this tour, these different things that are happening to us mm -hmm. as a result mm -hmm. of our dedication and work and mm -hmm. grind, mm -hmm. is that those are the sweet moments. Yeah. Those are the moments that we all live for. And to yeah. have my best friend with me while I'm doing it means the world. Means the world. It makes a whole lot of difference. I'm telling you, a whole Absolutely. hell of a difference. You know why? Because... This per you you said a lot in that whole thing right there. I'm telling you, we got somebody said tough decisions are sometimes the best decisions. I'm telling you, uh, somebody else said I love that. That's beautiful. That's a whole that's a whole thing. Like you just said a whole lot. One thing about um, creativity, talent, skill, ability, purpose, and relationships they all tie together. There's there's a link in every last one of them. And, and, and they all are connecting in some type of way. And what it takes is for not just any person, but that right person to pull out. You might have been able to do some things before her, but like you just said, you just pointed out, the, the things that I did before her, it was things, you know what I'm saying? I did stuff, but I did my best stuff when I had her. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because there's a certain influence. That's why I tell people all the time in my other sectors that God don't pair people. He pairs purposes. Okay? So now, here it was. You were almost down the aisle with somebody else. Yes. And and because of... of Listen, okay, so so you said the reason that you didn't make that decision is because you were not what you were not supported, you were not, you know, they didn't they didn't give you the things that you needed to be your best self. Absolutely. And here it is, somebody else comes in and in, in the nick of time, right before you're about to make the worst decision, possibly, they come and then they show you what it is that you were needing, not just what you wanted, but what you needed. Absolutely, that's exactly what it was. You see what I'm saying? That's and a I don't big even deal. Call it the nick of time, and child time. That's a big boy. You boy, listen, listen. Okay. It's, somebody says it is a difference when your partner is also your best friend. It's a total difference. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Total I agree. difference, man. Yeah, listen. Part. That thing, what that thing hit different when y'all connected in on a deeper level. <laughs> it hit different. You understand me? No, it's true. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> listen, I, I can listen. We we if I keep going with this, we are gonna go past this hour. I'm gonna tell you now. So I'm gonna stop right here and. and <laughs> Yeah, I'm, you have to save that for the Miss V After Show. Hey, Miss V After Show. You feel me? Show. They, hey, Netflix got to cut a check for all that. You understand me? <laughs> I'm just saying. 
<laughs> I'm just saying. So I love that though. And for you to be 30, for you to be 30, you know what I'm saying? We got MJ here. He said, hey, Big Mike. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, man? <laughs> for you to say that at by the age of 30, do you understand that there are people who are well older than you that still don't get that? Oh, man. I, I couldn't imagine. I, I just go off how I feel. I'm a real person. Man, man, person. man, man. So I'm saying I have real feelings. I might not know everything, but I know how I feel. is always in the truth. Yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody so, said who's on... Enough. There's so, nothing to play around with that. There's you know nothing to play around with that. Very early. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Your Lord yeah, Jesus. It's not about right or wrong. It's about how you feel. It's not about right or wrong. It's about how you feel. Boy, listen. I'm about to step away from the mic. I'm going to just let you talk. How about that? Because you got all kind of nuggets and nougats and things on your tongue. Boy, listen. Well, thank you. Thank oh, you so much. my God. Who's on the phone? Somebody said, who's on the phone? It is the man, the myth, the legend, the wisdom. Listen, Mahatma Gandhi himself, okay? <laughs> Khan Gandhi, okay? One of, listen, yeah, MJ said one of the oh, real man, brothers. I love, it. I love your energy. Yes, I listen. Love your energy. Listen. I'm watching it as I'm talking to you. I love it. <laughs> listen, I'm telling you. Oh my God, you going you going to help some people. I'm telling you, with just that right there, you're going to help some people, okay? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's move on. Let's move on, okay? We can't stay there, Con. We can't stay there, okay? <laughs> yeah, Don't be trying on. to keep me there. <laughs> Don't be trying to influence me and try to take over and keep me there because I'll stay. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so tell me this. Tell me this. We talking about bullying. Tell me about bullying, okay? And tell me about bullying. Tell me why, you know, so I don't, I don't, you ain't got to get into the reason why the seed is changed to the B, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about bullying. Well, I'm going to give it to you. Okay, so bullying. Bullying is me and Chai's first video. It was actually okay. our first hit, I believe, we ever did together. Okay. And um, in the video, well, first of all, just the chemistry on that, like, we both fell in love with the record. Yes. Immediately. We yes. Both, we, did the, we did the whole record together. I remember uh, after the first time we left with just a rough mix from the studio, we were driving home at, like, 6.30 in the morning. We had got off work the night before, went to the studio, recorded. We were so excited about it. But then when we heard ourselves and we heard the work that we did, yeah. like, we both cried in the car. Like, just really? Like, like, real life. like, just, like, with the chill bumps. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. It was an experience to hear us, like, to hear our energies and our souls intertwining on through music. Come on, boy. You is speaking. Listen, I got a whole nother level of respect for you. I swear, because you talking nice. You hear me? You talking nice. Yeah. All right? So go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And um, so, like, again, like I said, so, like, just through that experience, and it just, we worked on that record for, like, two years before it was completed. Wow. It was in all type of different mixes and everything. It had to be just right. And when we finally shot the video... We wanted the video, not necessarily to just go with the words, mm -hmm. but we wanted to tell our story. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of underlying statements, and so we can save that for the, the, the late night show, too. Yeah. But, um, like, this this is our story. This is how we really came about. That's like, what's ultimately, up. you know what I'm saying, some people will be able to put some days together, and that's for y'all. Those are little ether eggs. <laughs> <laughs> little ether eggs, you know. Yeah, but no, no, it's a beautiful story, and uh, I'm going to share with the world. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And listen, I, I don't want to have y'all to wait no longer, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit y'all with a little bullet. I'm going to let y'all see what he's talking about, the, the love story. Across my shoulder, you drive me reckless. I'm far 
Yes, yes, you guys. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. This right here is so dope. It's not even funny. I had to show that. Now, the first song I didn't show the video. There's a video, by the way, for you all. There's a video for everybody, for, for every song, okay? Just so you know, okay? They are not amateurs. They're not coming out the basement with it. They actually are about this life. And and when I tell you they are they are they are they are seamless, they are detailed, they are colorful, they're telling stories, they're giving imagery. Um, it's not it's not shabby, it's very precise and pristine, you know what I mean? It's concise all the way through, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> MJ said they needed MJ to be their bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, we got somebody. They, they was vibing. They somebody said, "Hey," and then somebody somebody say, uh, "Nothing better than authentic and organic." Talking about you all's chemistry in the video. It is very, very, very oh, pure. Thank you so much. It thank is you. very authentic. You can definitely tell that there's a bond there for sure. Somebody sent a bunch Absolutely. of flames. You know what I mean? Fire. Hey, thank you know you. what I mean? Love. It's all love. It's Great all love. love. Man, let me tell y'all something, man. Y'all, you all are the real deal, okay? Somebody say, somebody say, I've been new. Charlie was gonna blow. No cap, no cap, hey. no cap, no cap. I'm talking about all of them. All of them are doing their doggone thing. Now, I recall in your previous segment when you was preaching to us about what thus said Kangati, okay? You you was telling us. Okay, about what it what 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 you had to encounter and endure when coming to your your now reality, your now and your new and your needed now new and needed reality, right? Yes, absolutely. with your exactly. with your music, with your love life, and things like that. Who is Kind Gotti, the family man, the father? Talk to us about that person. Okay, absolutely. I well, I'm very family oriented. Yeah, and I get that from my father and my mother. Now yeah. the affection side I get from my mom. And just like, just like, okay, so I'm half Italian. I come from a, I come from a gangster background. Yeah. Like, so La Familia, that's everything. I know that's right. 
very tight knit, but I have a very huge family. Mm-hmm. So I definitely implement that in my household. Like I love my kids. I love on them. Absolutely. I'm trying to do anything I can for them. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why my heart beats. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and I just see, I just see so much of my family in them because I have been around so much of my family. And sometimes, like if, like in a, in another situation, is you have if you're not really that family oriented, you're not around your family. Yeah. Like you're not even, you're not even recognizing the certain traits and personalities that you're actually getting through your kids from your family. You That's know what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I see my mom, my grandma, and I see my dad. I see mm-hmm. myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um and I just I'm, I'm raising a king and a queen out here. So come on. Um, I just want to make them better than I ever was. That's you know what good. I'm That's good. Yeah, That's absolutely. Good. Absolutely. That's good. So now, um, when it comes down to your musical influence, do you see that in your children? Are they musically Absolutely. inclined? So what? Oh what who do we have the crazy. next coming up? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Okay, so my daughter, she already had a, um, she already had like a Disney uh, audition. And Come on. She sings and dances in a room every day. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh excuse me. I'm sorry. Hold on. That's okay. Yeah. She, um, yeah, no, she loves music, absolutely loves music. I can't get her to stop dancing. And I told her, same thing my dad told me when I wanted to be a rapper. He said, the day I walk past you and you're sitting in your room by yourself and you're writing without nobody telling you to do it, mm-hmm. what I'll, you know what I'm saying, you just pick up a pen, because like, that's the day you become a rapper. Come on. I told my daughter that. So at any time of the day, I could be sitting in the room, walking past, whatever, I hear her up there singing and dancing. Wow. She loves it. She just, just, auto, she just automatically gravitates towards it. Yeah. That's awesome. And my son. Mm-hmm. You know, my son. Okay, he's four. But he loves music, too. Okay. Like, I don't know if you watch the new little Spider-Man on, uh, on Netflix, you know, song word for word. Really? Yeah, loves it. Absolutely loves yeah. it. Like, we can't go anywhere without playing it. Like, That's so good. my music, too. Like, he, he, he's inclined to my music. He's like, wow. say Poppy's video. He just want to watch Poppy's video. <laughs> You know, <laughs> they call so you Poppy. They really got a choice. It's all the way in. They call you Poppy. Yeah, they call me Poppy. Yeah, okay. they're they're, um, they're they're half Hispanic. Their mom's from Uruguay. Oh, nice. Okay, culture. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah, we get colorful over here. Yeah, come on, Rainbow <laughs> Coalition. Come on here. <laughs> But that's good. That's good though. That's good because it exposes them to different cultures, different backgrounds, different nationalities. That's amazing. That's amazing. Absolutely. Yes. So Absolutely. that's what you just said. Very, very key for the parents that are listening, for the parents who are watching and listening. Pay attention to the 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 thing that your chi- your children gravitate to without you telling them to do it. Pay attention to that that ability, that love of your child. A lot of people. Especially old school. I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start at the old school because old school they had this thing that we, you know, you gotta you gotta go to school, you gotta get a diploma, you gotta go to college, get a degree, go from college, you gotta get you a job, make all the money, you gotta, you know, then you gotta, you know, get you a place, get out of your house, get you a family, get have some kids, and then you know retire and die. Boom. That was the script. Okay. However, what none none of the old school, hardly any, I'll, I'll say hardly ever, did they actually glean your or or cultivate the skill the skills and the ability and the natural talent of the children. Cause they because it was always about do this, do this, do this, do that, stop doing this, stop doing that, stop doing you know what I'm saying? So, but when it came down to the actual desires of the children, the actual loves of the children, you got to pay attention to them. As parents, you got to pay attention to it because they are speaking, they are communicating with you what they love to do without even having to say, uh, speaking a word. They're telling you, they're showing you every day. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, his daughter, she can't stop dancing. And so he saw, boom, she loves to dance. You know, can't stop singing. Boom. They love to sing. You know, so so cultivate that. Once you, The moment you see that child's skill and ability or their desire and passion, take that and cultivate it. Cultivate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You know? You know what I'm saying? You had something to say about it? Or, or no? You, you just, you just, no, 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 amen. Absolutely. Okay. That's, that's, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Recognizing any like type of skills or talent and yeah. that way they can live and embrace and they say it takes 20 years to, master, to become a master or something see 20 right? years so you got to start early you have to start early you got to start early and then my children are integral children you know mm. they're just born, they're in tune. like they got they have a relationship with god you know 
Boy, li- um, I'm, th- I'm about to go. I'm about. To, I'm just about to walk away and just let you keep talking. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to walk uh, you away. You don't gotta do that at all. Uh, I, wanna, I just want to answer some questions. <laughs> boy, listen. You are wiser than you than, than than I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure you're 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 wiser beyond your years. I'll say that. And and yeah. and I'm quite sure that you can accredit your family members, your influences, your your surroundings, the people that you got in your circle. Like you have made some great decisions. I'm talking about quality decisions for such a young man. You have made some quality decisions that has directly impacted your life, your future, your forever, and in a, in a major way, in a major way. And again, you get it. You get it. You got it at a young age so that now you can just, you can live. You don't have to just exist. You can actually live in your gift, in your ability, in true joy, pure love, pure happiness. You know what I'm saying? All of those things, you actually can can enjoy that right now instead of waiting down the line, you know what I'm saying, for something to happen and appear. You actually made it happen for yourself by way of the influences that you got, listening to your spirit, listening to your gut, following after, you know what I'm saying, all kind of things. So that right there, I have to commend you. I must take my head off to you because, again, some people are wait. I'm talking about twice your age and still ain't got it. Wow. Well, I appreciate that. You see what I'm saying? It means a lot. Means That's, a lot. Listen, it means a lot to even see young people like yourself and even, you know what I'm saying, even even the people that you have around you, because I'm quite sure they would not be around you and you wouldn't be around them if they were not vibing and marching to the same beat of that same drum. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, a lot of people say, you show me, show me your surroundings, I show you your future. Okay? Show me your friends, I show you your future. That's real. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be so selective in that thing. And and listen, some people may want to ride, but that you know, or some people have have ridden and rode ro- in your car, ridden, have rode in, rode in your car up until a certain point, and it's time to drop them off, baby. Just because they uh, in the car don't mean they going freak. to the same place as you. Freak. Bottom line, I learned that just because they in the car with you does not mean they going to the same destination, baby. They 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 got a drop off point somewhere. No, that's real. That's really real. You know what I mean? That's really real. Because if you keep the person in your vehicle so long or longer than necessary, then they will hinder you and boom, 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 purposes won't be fulfilled. So there you go. I am loving this, loving you, loving this, all of this stuff. That tell us about keep going because you got me going. I'm going to keep going. You keep going and you got to check. Listen, tell us about keep going. Okay. Keep going. Okay. All right, keep going. It's exactly what you just said. We got to keep going, keep going. Okay, never let nothing hold us down or stop us from getting away. Yes. We are on our way. Yes. Keep going and then we're going to go tomorrow. Yes. The sky, yes. the sky is only the beginning, not the limit. Come on. The sky is only the beginning, not the limit. Listen, keep going, people. We're going to keep going with this interview. We're going to keep going giving y'all these hits right here. New Music Monday with Miss B, none other than Kind Guy.
dropping on floors. Now I'm sliding in front, checking in the top door. Diamonds on the day going. Private island no shores. Red bottoms no drawers. Got it all on my mind. 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 Keep going, keep going. Got it all on my mind. I was sleeping on floors. Now I'm sliding in front. Keep going, keep going. Got it out of me. I was on nature noise. Got it. Now I'm sliding in party. Started ace in the quarters. Now I cut straight across the border. I had work on that corner. I had work. I had work on that corner. At work. Every day when I woke up, went to work on that corner. Rain pouring, keep going. Me gas, we growing. Me clean, we snoring. Got pints, keep pouring. Catch a play, we snoring. 20k and I show up. Niggas hate when I blow up. Champagne when I throw up. I was sleeping on floors. Now I'm sliding in thorns. Checking in the top floor. Diamonds on the day grind. Private island no shores. Red bottoms no drawers. Got it all on my mind. 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 Keep going, keep going. Got it all on my mind. I was sleeping on floors. Hey, 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 now that's a vibe right there. That's for yeah, I sure. Hey, man. Hey, man, you you already know, because see, you know me outside of New Music Monday, so you know I don't, I, don't, I can't sit still too long. <laughs> okay, you know, I can't keep my seat for too long. The girl got to get up and move something, okay? Well, I heard that, baby. <laughs> so now, we are coming to a close. However, what I want you to do, this one here, now all of it has been heat. I ain't going to even lie to you. All of your music that we have listened to today, everybody agrees, has been pure, pure inferno, okay? Right, thank you, baby. However, et cetera, et cetera, dot, 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 all of the things. This one here, Bad <laughs> Man Vibes. I need yes, you to five, lay this five, down. Five. I need you to lay it down like it has forever. And, and like it will forever and consistently be laid. Do you understand me? Absolutely. Lay it down. All right, y'all. I'm Kai Gotti. I want to introduce Charlie, little bad guys, hook guy juice man, and red nose pimping. And we want y'all to come check this Bad Mind Vibes with us. Our new single. We released a video. Go check it out. It's on every major platform. You know what I'm saying? Support, show some love. Big, huge thanks and much gratitude to you, Miss B. It's all love. I appreciate you having us. Yeah. Helping us showcase our music. And this is, this is how, this is, this is us reaching out to y'all. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Y'all, listen, Bad Man Vibes. I'm giving you this video too because you got to see it. It's oh, fire. You okay, you got to see it. What up, Brody? Yeah, y'all at the spot? All right, cool. Save me a seat. I'm about to pull up. Please. 
Big bag daddy, bins big like a caddy. Let my bitch hold all my bags like a caddy. Round here, we'll serve an eight to your auntie. Chop up, blow the dust off a nigga like an auntie. Money over bitches, so that's common sense. And I put that dollar first in line, George Washington. I was on the ass with the stash in my moccasins. Pussy nigga, catch up. Boy, you a condiment. Yeah. Big boy Dutch, roll a tree, point five. So I can blow this Dutchie to the sky. Pass the Dutchie, part in West High side. Real rude gal, catch a bad bitch vibe. Ask your nigga how I blew his mind that I flew past you bitches in a blink of an eye. My killers are service and I can get you right for cheap. Bumba clock is tick tock. If you speaking on me, run up on you in your sleep. You wake up drowning in the creek and while you sinking, we gon' sing. B B I G. Sex money murder. Yeah. The big man with the big moves. John Wick with the stick. Too many niggas talking about how they gon' win. All I know is I can't lose. Look, big boy, that's what a trip point by. So I can blow the Dutchy to the sky. Past the Dutchy upon the west hand side. Real rude boy, catch a bad man vibe. Speaking of my name, no whole gang gon' slide. Keep a blue thing on the left side. You can ask about the last man that tried. It's red nose pepper. I got a quarter bag of that cookie. I put a three five in that bitchy. I've been hot boxing this foreign, so this motherfucker looks stuffy. I'm in the street sliding my Maserati toy. We run them. I'm fuck rhyming no potty potty boys. We got them. BBIG, six money murder. Cause I only deal with them top shotters with gun sides of your legs, nigga. Ask about that last man that tried it was off with his head, nigga. Boy, that's really cheap, boy, bye. Yeah, so I can blow this dashi to the sky. On a fly, sit dashi on the west hand side. Real road boy, catch a bad man, bye. Speaking of my name, the whole gang gon' slide. Keep a red team on the right side. Bye, speak to the last man that tried. Hey, man, listen. Hey. That was <laughs> off the chain. I love, 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 love it. I love it. So listen, so this much. has been an uh, so much fun. It's been a pleasure. It's been an honor. I am oh, humbled. I blast. Yes, sir. I am totally humbled to even have you on this platform. Thank you so much for gracing me, grace, gracing New Music Monday, gracing our listeners and things like that. I want you to tell the people where they can find you. Absolutely. You can uh, add me at Khan Gotti. Um, that's going to be everywhere. You can find all of our music on Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime, you know, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. There's all the major platforms out there. All the and, major platforms. And we have links to everybody, everybody's um, specific page, too. Like, it's underscore Shiley. Okay. Um, Red Nose PTP. We got Little Baghdad and uh, Hook Guy. Okay. We add all of those. At all of those, and follow us. We support back, and um, we appreciate you. We, we appreciate you having us on the show. Absolutely, I mean, I like the whole team. Absolutely, my whole team. That's right, absolutely. Because this is not it, y'all. Y'all got an intro. You got a you got an introduction to Kangati. Yes, he mentioned his team. Yes, he represents his team. He represents himself. He represents his family. He represents his lady. He represents everything, all things. Okay. However. There's all of the other entities of the team, of the squad, of the group. They are all indiv individual entities as well. Powerful, powerful team, individually, okay? So collectively, you know they're nuclear, okay? Nuclear, WMDs, that's what they are. 
Okay, so what we're going to do, each one, each one of them, they're going to have their pla their place on the uh, on, on New Music Monday. Each one of them are going to represent their own individual selves, and you're going to see how individually they're gifted and skilled and talented, and how collectively they just, they just vibe off of each other. You can spell his name K-O-N-G-O-T-T-I, K-O-N-G-O-T-T-I, okay? So listen, I want you to, I want to thank you again. And you all already know what time it is. Also, special shout out. That's the reason I wanted to give y'all that, that video, that last video, Batman Vibes. Special shout out to CCC. Okay. Special shout out to CCC Cigar City Club. That is my spot. Okay. <laughs> I absolutely love Love, love, love going. If you are in the Atlanta area, you definitely want to hit them up. You don't want to miss it, okay? For sure. Go ahead and holler at the people. CCC Cigar City Club. Special recognition to them and the whole team over there. MJ, uh, Julius, Shoshana, Antonio, Mike, Charlie, everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody. So we want to give a shout out to them for sure. Okay? Next week, you all don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Be here next Monday, same time, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. You want to check it out, New Music Monday, so we can feature another piece of what's going to be um, music industry history. You understand? what I'm saying? This is a platform right here that is definitely going to be necessary to get that fresh hit, that fresh that fresh music out there, these fresh artists, the people, you know, kind of get them where they belong, which is on the center stage. You understand what I'm saying? These folks need to be on TV, on radios, in, in wherever. Wherever, internationally known, nationally known, it doesn't matter. They need to be out there, and we are giving them a platform to be able to do so, okay? Again, thank you all for viewing. Thank you all for checking in. Thank you for your shares, your interaction. Thank you all for your love and your continued support. And until next week, we want to love you. I say I mean it, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it, okay? Peace.